quick video. Uh, this is uh, one of my main tools I use to cut my rod, my tubing. Uh, this is one thing I've uh, kind of learned uh, actually by accident. I thought I had grabbed only one blade, which is perfect for cutting uh, brass or softer metal. But I noticed that there's actually two blades on this. And since I've done that, uh, the blades and the teeth last a lot longer when I cut the 304 stainless steel tubing. And usually at this point, these teeth will pretty much be flat. And I've cut quite a bit of stainless steel tubing with this. And the teeth are still sharp. So if you do use one of these to cut 304 stainless, do not use just a single blade. Double up your blade and it works well for t the tubing. I hadn't tried the uh, stainless rods yet, but uh, I imagine it should stand up to the heat and uh, the resistance of the metal and not wear out the teeth. But if it does with two, try three. That's uh, something that uh, I found out by accident but this is something that Paracentric had told me about, about uh, stacking the blades for making serrations on pins. But this right here was just an absolute fluke of a deal when I noticed when I was cutting that the vibrations would separate these two blades from each other and I realized I had two blades. But like I said, it doing that when you're working with stainless increases the the, the use that you have out of it. I've used this so much and the teeth are like, basically like it was a brand new blade. So that's just uh, something to keep in mind when you use this on harder metals to uh, use in your challenge locks. That's pretty much about all I got for you. Take care, my best to you, bye-bye.